some of my best friends are that black. Never works. Can, can I, but can I, never can works. I do a public service announcement as yeah. the black person on the panel? Sark has you covered with a free Moto G 5G phone. No gimmicks, no trade-in necessary. Just sign up for Pure Talk's unlimited talk, unlimited text, and 15 gig data plan for just 35 bucks and get the Moto G 5G phone for free. But here's the deal. You need to move fast because these phones are almost gone. So if your current phone is on life support, upgrade for free with Pure Talk. Enjoy two-day battery life an exceptional quad pixel camera, and a whole lot more. Just dial pound 250 and say keyword Brandon Tatum to speak with Pure Talk's U.S. customer service team. They make switching so easy and will make sure that you get your new phone. Remember, Pure Talks gives you America's most dependable 5G network at half the price. So make the switch today. Dial pound 250 and say keyword Brandon Tatum to claim your free Moto G 5G phone with qualifying plan. Pure Talk, simply smarter wireless. Chris Christie, though, came out and said that you gave that answer not because in his, uh, in, you're, in his words, dumb or racist, but because you're, quote, unwilling to offend anyone by telling the truth. What do you say to that? No one's ever said that I am unwilling to offend. I offend plenty of people because I call people out when they do something wrong. Um, what I will tell you is Chris Christie is from New Jersey. I should have said slavery right off the bat. But if you grow up in South Carolina, literally in second and third grade, you learn about slavery. You grow up and you have, you know, I had black friends growing up. It is a very talked about thing. We have a big history in South Carolina when it comes to, you know, slavery, when it comes to all the things that happened with the Civil War, all that. I was over, I was thinking past slavery and talking about the lesson that we would learn going forward. I shouldn't have done that. I should have said slavery, but in, in my mind, that's a given that everybody associates the Civil War with slavery. Here she go, backpedaling and, and, and quad pedaling. Welcome back to The Officer Tatum Show. I'm your host, Brandon Tatum. Follow me on social media at The Officer Tatum or TatumPlus.com. Nikki Haley is the subject of another controversy. She made the intent to not talk about slavery when it came to the Civil War. And now she's backpedaling. She's not backpedaling because she honestly believes she was wrong. It's because the backlash. Because people can see through politicians. We can see it. Clear as the noonday sun. We're looking at it and saying, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. You intentionally said slavery wasn't a part of the Civil War. You're trying to acquiesce to a group of people. You're trying to seem like you're in the middle so you can get a little bit of the black vote. Instead of just being honest about the Civil War and, and, and how beneficial it was to black people in the freedom of slavery or freedom of slaves in, in, in the confines of slavery. And then now she come up with a thing that says, I, you know, I have a black, I have black friends. <laughs> you know, I, I, I never thought about it like that. I never thought to myself, I have white friends. No, I just have friends and my friends are diverse. There's some on black, white, Asian, whatever. I have friends. I mean, people that I call associates. I don't, I don't have a lot of like friends that I'm like real tight with. Cause I'm a loner, you know. I don't really like fooling with people like that. Me, and my wife, my kids, and my my family, and I probably got like two people that I'm like really, really close with. That I consider my friends, which means I know that they ride or die. That means if it, if it rubber hit the road, I can call BJ right now, and BJ will will, will be in his uniform uh, on the fire from the fire department. He'll leave the fire station in full uniform to come pull up. So those are people that I consider to be real friends, but. I want to I want to play that Nikki Katie clip one more time because it, for some people that are just joining, I want to play that clip one more time so we can get the full effect of it. Play the Nikki Haley clip. Chris Christie though came out and said that you gave that answer not because in his uh, in, you're in his words dumb or racist, but because you're quote unwilling to offend anyone by telling the truth. What do you say to that? No one's ever said that I am unwilling to offend. I offend plenty of people because I call people out when they do something wrong. Um, what I will tell you is Chris Christie is from New Jersey. 
I should have said slavery right off the bat. But if you grow up in South Carolina, literally in second and third grade, you learn about slavery. You grow up and you have, you know, I had black friends growing up. It is a very talked about thing. We have a big history in South Carolina when it comes to, you know, slavery, when it comes to all the things that happened with the Civil War, all that. I was over, I was thinking past slavery and talking about the lesson <laughs> that we would learn going forward. I shouldn't have done that. I should have said slavery. But in, in my mind, that's a given that everybody associates the Civil War with slavery. That's not that's not what she said. She said in the meeting, she said, what did you what do you want me to say about slavery? You know, and I, I think that's because she was trying to capitulate. You know, I, I it's crazy to me. Sonny Hostin, who's uh, the, one of the dumbest women in the world. She has something to say about tokenism as it relates to Nikki Haley. I want to play that clip as well. Roll clip two. Some of my best friends are that black. Never works. Can, can I, that can I, can never works. Can I do works. a public service announcement as yeah. the black person on the panel? Non-black people, when you are trying to convince someone that you are not racist, do not say, I have black friends. And that applies to, that applies to every minority group. People do it. Every. They do it with the LGBTQ like, community. Like, you can like, fill in the blank like, with like, Jewish people. And why, why, but why I think is we, that? It's, it's tokenism. Why. It, it is tokenism to the extreme. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you are trying to convince me that you have black friends just tells me that you don't. But, and you know, okay. and it's it's, well, she it's, grew it's up insulting. South Carolina, right? Isn't she from South Carolina? Yeah, it's insulting. She, might have she also said during this that although she is the daughter of Indian immigrants, she doesn't really feel any kind of race. And I was troubled by that because the Indian culture is a beautiful culture. It's an inclusive culture. It's a strong culture. It's an old culture. Can't you and feel the someone, culture without the race? Uh, well, yes, of course you can. But for her to say that she just doesn't identify with that at all well, she changed I guess her name. Was, was troubling to me as the black woman on the panel white people you can't say this well let's let's talk about this for a minute if a person is claiming that they understand the struggle of black people but they don't have any black people that they know don't you think don't you find that kind of interesting I think it would be interesting to know if you want to bolster your point and say, look, I have people in my family that are black or if I have a black niece or I have black friends who I communicate with. We talk about these things. I'm qualified on the topic because we talk about these things and people that I love and trust. I'm, I'm invested in their life and I know what they go through because they told me about it. And it's funny to me that black people. Especially, uh, Sonny Holston is, is dumb. I don't even, she probably biracial anyway. But Sonny Holston and, and these ignorant women bother me. It's funny that black people can say, her, like her, I'm not talking about the smart black people. Or, you know, I, I'm talking about the dummies. And, and in every race, there's some dummies, right? We call them the ignorants. So in her mind, black people can look at a white person and say, you don't know, <clears throat> you don't know what I go through because you ain't black. But they the first one to talk about everything white people, privileges they have, and all kinds of other stuff that white people have going for them. How do you know what privilege white people have and you ain't white? How do you know what white people think and how they feel about black people and you, you ain't never been white? That's like a white person telling a black person how they think and feel. If you don't accept that, then why are you doing it? If you don't want to be, they talking about tokenism. Well, listen, fool, you're saying as the only black person on the panel, is that not tokenism? Aren't you, are you the token black on the, on the view? You know, they got Whoopi Gold turds on there, but she wasn't on there at the time. So as the black woman on the panel, let me tell you about tokenism. It, it, the irony is crazy to me. And it, it's, we shouldn't even be doing this in America today. Martin Luther King said this. A long time ago, judging people by the content of their character, not the color of their skin. When are we going to start doing that? All they doing on the thing is talking about race. All they do is bring up racial differences and disparities. But then when it comes to different other cultures, they go, the Indian culture is so rich. As if they, they try to, there's no such thing as white culture. 
hey, fool, you living in white culture. This stuff was built by white folks. I, I'm, can I be honest? Who, who wrote the Constitution of the United States of America? Okay, I, that's what I thought. And, and they made a great sacrifice to do so. They made a great sacrifice to step out on a limb and, 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 and envision a new design where the people run the government, not the government running the people. Nobody else has done this. Nobody. It, with any notable success. So you talk about a culture. This is, this is what you call European culture. And you're, you're living in it. And the European culture is the freest culture, clearly, because they accept everybody in. Asian, black, and eh, eh. people come to America and prosper the most in what? A European, uh, uh, Judeo-Christian culture. This is not African culture. If it was African culture, the African continent, continent would be the most prosperous continent on planet Earth, but it's not. I would argue, before you start running your mouth and bashing white people, you should probably, get, you should probably thank them. Yeah, slavery was bad. Everybody went through slavery. Everybody went through slavery. Every race of people were enslaved. White people were enslaved in Africa. You, I mean, you go all over the world. Indians, everybody's been enslaved. But, you know, I, I'm thankful that I was born here and not somewhere else. Y'all hold the phone.